Hi, this is Alfauzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is construction of a statistical table. Construction of a statistical table is the arrangement of the information in rows and columns. To get the meaning of a statistical table, we can take the quote, a statistical table is a systematic organization of data in columns and rows. The systematic arrangement of data obtained after the process is called the table. Okay, now let us see what are the major parts and minor parts. A statistical table has at least four major parts and some other minor parts. Let me list out them. Title, box head, I mean the column captions, the stub which is nothing but row captions, the body, preferatory notes, footnotes, source notes. So these are the major and minor parts. You can have a glance over that. Okay. The general sketch of table indicating its necessary parts, I'm going to show that on the board. These are the necessary parts in a general sketch of a table. There should be a title and preferatory notes about the title and the box head and then you'll be having row captions here and column captions i can draw two more cells here i'm just giving you a general impression and here would be the stub entries and the body of the table now let us see the each part of the statistical table one by one here you can write the footnotes and source notes so this is how the table will look like the title so what is the title the title is the main heading written in capitals shown at the top of the table. It must explain the contents of the table and throw light on the table. As whole, different parts of the heading can be separated by commas. There are no full stops in the title. Title is the main heading written at the top of the table. It must explain the contents of the table. So this is what a title will give the details. Now let us see what is the box head, which is nothing but column captions. The vertical heading and subheadings are called box head, which is also known as column caption. The space where the column headings are written is called as box head. Let me show it. You can see in this general sketch, only the first letter of the box head should be written in capital letter and the remaining letter should be written all in small letters. And you can say that the body head is the main part of the table which contains the numerical information. Okay, this is the body and I'm, I'm talking about the box head. The vertical heading and subheading of the column are called columns captions. These spaces where these columns headings are written is called box head. Only the first letter should be in capital and all the other letters should be in lowercase. Hope you are clear with box head. Okay, now let us see what is the stub. Stub is the row caption. The horizontal headings and subheadings of the row are called row captions and the space where these rows headings are written is called the stub. Body is the main part of the table which contains the numerical information classified with respect to rows and columns. Here you will be seeing all the information. And here you will be writing the preferatory notes. A statement given below the title and enclosed in brackets usually describes the units of measurements and is called preferatory notes. In case if there is any information, it will be mentioned here. And the footnotes, these appear immediately below the body of the table providing additional explanation. As usual, it appears at the foot of the body giving further explanation. And what about source notes? It just indicates the time from when the source is taken from and it's, it comes under the table. It just indicates the source of the information has been taken from. It also includes the information about compiling, agency, publication and etc. So this is the gist of the statistical table. Here is an example for the classical statistical table. See, you can see the, there will be a title and these are the box heads, row captions and these are the column captions and this is the body it all, it gives all the information in numerical form now let's see the general rules of tabulation a table should be simple and attractive 
there should be no need of further explanations and details. Proper and clear headings for columns and rows are necessary. Suitable approximation may be adopted and figures may be round off. For example, if you are rounding this number with one decimal, all the numbers should be given in one decimal only. In case, if one information is given in three decimals, all the information has to be given in three decimals only. I'm not talking about the whole numbers, I'm just saying about the decimals. So a uniformity has to be followed and the unit of measurement should be well defined. If the observations are large in number, they can be broken into two or three tables. Thick lines should be used to separate the data under big classes and thin lines to separate the subclasses of data. This one and this one. Let's see the importance of statistical table. The main object of the table is to simplify the complex observ observation so that it can be easily understood. Since data are arranged under the title with numbers, it can be easily identified and used for the required purpose. This tabulation makes the data brief, so we can graph it easily, we can analyze easily. It will be easier for you to graph these information. It will be very useful in finding the mistakes in the information. In da table data is divided into various parts with totals, subtotals for each part, so that the relationship between the various parts is easily understandable. Now let us see the rules to be followed. There should be proper title for each table. We have to give title to each column and row. It should be simple and attractive. To reduce the unnecessary detail, the figure should be approximated before tabulation. Percentages are given in the table if necessary. So if there is anything, there will be merits and demerits. Now let us see the limitation of the statistical table. So far we discussed the importance and rules of statistical table. Now let us see what are the limitations of statistical table. Statistical table contains only numerical data, so we cannot get the detailed information, am I right? And also it is a bit difficult to understand the statistical data table for a common man. Qualitative expressions is not possible through table, only quantitative expressions are possible. So these are the limitations of statistical table. To construct a table, it is important to learn first what are the parts of a good statistical tables are. When put together in a symmetrically ordered manner, these parts form a table. The simplest way of conceptualizing a table may be data presented in rows and columns along with some explanatory notes. Tabulation can be done using one-way, two-way and three-way classification depending upon the number of characteristics involved. So for a good table, these are the essential things to be included. I have taken an example. Let us see how to construct a statistical table for this example. Please read the question once. So usually we have to start with the title. So I'm going to give a title for this one. Here is the title. It should start with capital and all the other letters should be in lowercase. This is the preferred notes. It gives us figure in thousands. So these are the subheadings. So for the corresponding year, I have taken the total number of male for 61 and 72 and total number of female for the year 61 and 72. And I have written the total of both male and female. So this is how we have to note down the data from any given question. Now let us take the male and female detail for the Balochista and let us also write the total for those details. I have also noted down the details of male and female. Finally, I have written the total of male and female for the year 61 and 72. So this is an example of the statistical table. Now let me give some more additional information about this table. I have included the footnote. This uh, says about the table or all, all areas including the Gavadar area. Here is the source note. Population census report the year 1961 and the year 1972. So this is how a statistical table will look like. A title preferatory notes and the rows and columns and the body of the table along with footnotes and source notes. 
so a table should be a systematic arrangement of data into vertical column and horizontal rows the process of arranging data in rows and columns is called tabulation the purpose of tabulation is to present present the data in such a way that they become more meaningful and can easily understood by a common man by looking at the example you can understand how i have taken and arranged the statistical table so it should be very meaningful and it should be easily understood by a common man so like a coin it ha uh, a coin has two sides same way everything has both positives and negative the same way the statistical table also has its limitations as well as the positive things so this is the just about the statistical table you have to construct the statistical table in the same process hope you are clear with construction of statistical table in case if there is any query please let me know Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next video. Have a great time.